The Black Katana MK1, the strongest master rank longsword for the beginning of Sunbreak with great endgame upgradability, only requires you to kill some Hornetars, not a single large monster. And without any charm, you have 95% affinity on weak points and a lot of white sharpness. What's up guys, Chris here and welcome to another very exciting video. Today, Peppo and I are going to share with you the best longsword build to get through mastering. You can craft it right at the start once you reach Elgato and you don't need any charm to make it work. You can combine it with your talismans that you have. Our longsword of choice is the Black Katana MK1. It looks absolutely sick and of course it's the old school Hornetar longsword from Freedom Unite. To craft it you need 300 tower razor wings, 300 tower cortex, 100 tower head and one Dragonborn artifact. The Dragonborn artifact can only be gathered from the bone piles in the flooded forest, lava caverns or citadel which is unlocked at master rank 2. But there is actually one way to get the Black Katana right at the beginning after you reach Elgato and that is by upgrading from the Nash Katana instead of crafting the Black Katana from scratch. In this case you only need a monster essence and no more Dragonborn artifact. For those of you who watched our longsword build videos in Rise last year, congratulations, you guys have the perfect starting conditions for the best early master rank longsword. The Yukumo head requires one Bishat and Fine Fur, one Heavy Horn and one Twisted Stiff Bone. Peppo made a chart where you can see all bones as well as all ore locations in master rank. Please also use that to find out where to get the following items needed for our longsword build. For the ingot male axe, you need one pure crystal, one melspore ore, one augite, and two cassodon husks. The alloy vambraces axe require one frosium, three carbolite ore, and two dragonite ore. To get the time worn crimson horn for the hermitar coil, you need to break daimyo hermitar's shell twice. The first time you break the outside, and the second time you break the horn. You also need two hermitar hard claws and one hermitar cortex. Lastly, the hunter's greaves axe require one prized pelt from Kelby or Antica and two twisted stiff bones. The decorations needed are one sheath jewel, three tenorizer jewel, one handicraft, one expert and two steadfast jewels. You don't need any master rank materials for those, these are all high rank. A new feature in Sunbreak are Rampage decorations. The Spirit Bird Jewel one is what we recommend for slotting into the single Rampage slot in the Black Katana. You simply need a Lazarite Jewel from high rank and any Master Rank bones. It sometimes doubles the effect you get from your Petalus when you gather a Spirit Bird. With it you can reach the max Spirit Bird level faster. It seems to be the only useful single slot Rampage skill for Longsword. Of course the build comes with Quick Sheath level 3 which is still the most important skill for Longsword and Sunbreak because of both Special Sheath and Secret Sheath, two very frequently used switch skills. Critical Eye level 7 and Weakness Exploit level 3 get us to 95% affinity on weak points, Attack and Handicraft level 2 can still nicely be upgraded with any charm that you personally have and just gives a little extra damage and sharpness. Stun resistance level 3 for the single slots is a great skill for master rank which makes hunts a lot safer. Another alternative would be defense decorations here and one evade wound level 1 comes from the armor piece as a bonus. Lastly we want to mention that elemental longswords are fantastic in sunbreak. However at the beginning of master rank it's very difficult to manage elemental builds as you need a wider variety of equipment and skills to optimize your damage. That's why we recommend starting out with the Black Katana. It's a completely versatile longsword that can be used against every monster in Sunbreak. We hope you enjoyed this short early master rank longsword build video that I made with Peppo. Stay tuned for our longsword combo video where we talk about optimal use of switch skills and silkbind moves as well as the endgame build video where we will dive into elemental longswords as well. And with that said, we will catch you in the next one. Peace.